So what we just did was we altered a couple of settings in the site's default theme. If we go back to appearance, we can see a list of themes here. Drupal uses two themes by default, one for the front end where we see the logo and the header, and another for the administration area, which is what we see here. It doesn't have the site branding and uses a separate set of styles. So anything that we do to alter the front facing site doesn't affect our administration of the site. If you scroll down, there's one more additional theme here. Modifying the theme is something that's typically done by front end developers. But as a site builder, we can select a theme to start with. For most site building purposes, the Bartik theme will work just fine. So let's go back to our homepage. We can get there by clicking on the logo. And we have the word magnificent right next to the word magnificent. This is the site title and this is the logo. But because the logo contains the name of the company, we don't really need this anymore. So let's click the edit link here and click configure block. And under the toggle branding elements, let's uncheck the site name. And even though we don't have it, let's uncheck site slogan. Because really all we want up there is a logo. I'm going to click save block. That looks better. We'll come back to the idea of blocks a little bit later. But one thing that's nice to be aware of is that there are these contextual links here, this pencil icon that shows up in various parts of the page. And if you're curious about all of the different things you can edit this way on a page, you can click the edit button in the upper right hand corner. And you see that there are several places where we can use that quick edit. I'm going to click the edit link again to hide them by default. 